Okay, uh, good morning. It's a uh, wee hour in the morning na pala. And it's time uh, 4.41 a.m. This is 4F1KJ and I would like to introduce to you the brand NR model NB100R gas vet BHF uh, linear amplifier. Okay. And, uh, well, you know, uh, the owner of this is uh, Abdul Nasser Saga from uh, Iligan City. And um, the previous trouble of this unit was uh, being uh, reverse polarity. Okay. So, uh, I have encountered and replaced the following shunt diode, uh, shorted uh, shunt diode. And uh, also, uh, the driver, not the final, okay? The driver of this uh, RFA was also affected and uh, became shorted from the emitter and the collector. That's why even though you eliminate the chant diode, still there will be a shorted uh, part of this uh, unit. So, since I found already the uh, trouble, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, my power, all my regulated uh, steady bolt power supply was also affected. Uh, I thought it was only the diode, but uh, well, the driver was also affected. So uh, right now, I don't have, I'm not operating the 50 amp uh, regulated power supply, and I'm using my backup Zebra. 24 amp, it's model JR2403 and it's over there. Okay, and light. Let's see. So, there it goes. That's the backup power supply that I'm using. So, right now I'm using a uh, 02N uh, to trigger this one. Okay, I'm now on the 14500 as for the center frequency of the amateur which were in uh, always uh, been on a calibration mode okay. so uh, if we have some light here you can adjust the TX power high and low power and the same time RX and the RX gain the received power so uh, from the attenuator you can attenuate the receive one, okay, normal mode, and then the preamp. Okay, you can amplify the receive, and then the single sideband in FM, and then the power on switch. And right now here we have three uh, we have lights for the indication if we're going to transmit uh, high power. Okay, so you should okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was connected into a SX1000 SWR power meter and uh, selected it the band A. Okay. Okay. So we'll try to check this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. To the right. So, one, two, one, two, okay. So, as you can see, okay, so it does transmit already, okay. You will see that uh, here on the, okay, I'll check the uh, connection of the antenna. Okay. okay. So, you see it, oops. Okay. So 200 watt setting on a power switch forward. Then to try to get a some angle for a better view. Okay. So one two one two. So I'll try to turn off this uh, power supply. This uh, RFA. Okay. So we are now going to transmit on. Okay. 
5 watts. Ah, it is uh, mga 4. 4 for the portable. So, uh, so I think it's only 2, two watts. That's me, so, so, as per our input, it's a 2 watts uh, to 3 watts uh, transmission so if the input is 3 watts okay so and we are having a reading of okay something 80 watts so if you have a 5 watt uh, input that is more than uh, 100 watts okay So, is it, uh, we finally checked that uh, this unit has already been uh, restored and take note, this portable transmits only for 3 watts and now giving an output of uh, 80 watts so if you inserted a 5 watt uh, uh, transmission so this will give you a uh, more than 100 watts Okay, so I hope you enjoy my uh, little uh, video. If you have any suggestion, comment, or feedback, please write down on this uh, Facebook account. So, uh, this is for F1 KJA on the wee hour in the morning. Well, I have to finish this because... Uh, uh, too many file up to repair so uh, good evening uh, good evening sorry so we are now in the morning morning well I'm already exhausted so I have to go to sleep Firepoint KJ signing out 73